Can you believe that sick mess? Oh, that is gross. How do you handle when the drop-off is nasty? You know, what about your delivery bag? Look on the bottom there. Is that pristine and clean? Do you put this right back in your car? And then do your family and friends sit in your car? Have you ever thought about that? In this first clip, look at this as I come in the house, washing machine, garbage right there. Luckily there's a chair, I just set it on and uh, I think I did make the mistake of putting my bag on the ground. What would you do in this situation? Hold your breath? <laughs> All right, let's move on. Huh, that's cool. Wow. All right, in this next scenario, I was doing an Amazon Fresh delivery, and wouldn't you know it, they have their garage door tied in. So instead of leaving the bags here by the door, Sweet. I can push the button and it opens the garage. And check this out, this is disgusting. You can tell obviously they have a dog and there's feces all over the floor, car parts. That's sick, and I'm putting their groceries there. Near the end, a lady came out and said hello, and I said, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm almost done. But come on, where do you choose to put the clean food and groceries that are gonna go in their bodies? On a dirty floor? I didn't really see much space there. That's pretty sick, and it's pretty sad that different people's standards vary. So that makes you think twice about how clean is clean. Quick pause. I'll show you a video of my cat here if you hit the like button right now. All right, thank you so much. And then finally, in this next one, I walk down an apartment complex and you can see when I open the gate, look at this, off to your right, do you see that washing machine that's old? Obviously they didn't throw it away, right? They just wanted to leave it there and use it for plants, uh, garbage collection, who knows what. Oh, look at that. That's just sick. I'm glad I was able to put the food there on that chair. So you would think as a customer, they would want to clear a space for you to set the food. That way it's clean because you know what? You're going to go ahead and eat it. Wouldn't you want it to be in a clean place? It, it is beyond me at what some customers will do. You know, do you keep your house in this order, your apartment, your condo? Do you have a nice clean place for people to deliver food when you're doing it? And do you turn the light on at night? All little things like that. There's many times that I'm out doing food delivery and I'll see a mess like this at the drop off. And these are just three examples that I was able to film and bring to you today. What do you think? Is that sick? How do you, <laughs> how do you handle when you walk into something disgusting like that? You know, I'm not into bringing two pairs of shoes because we do walk around on the ground outside quite a bit and then that's going in your car. But some of these drop-offs, this is just a little bit too much, don't you agree? Even walking on that concrete or in their area, who knows what you're getting on your foot. In the comments below, please share what kind of nasty drop-offs have you experienced like this. Don't forget to like the channel and video, and I have seven tips on how you can deal with high gas prices.